For more News Talk 1290 podcasts, visit cjbk.com or search CJBK on the iTunes store and subscribe. This is Ask the Expert, a special advertising feature of News Talk 1290 CJBK. Good afternoon and welcome to Ask the Experts on News Talk 1290 CJBK. A very interesting half hour. I will say that a very interesting half hour planned for you as we're going to learn another acronym here in London. An acronym that's doing a lot of great work here in London, and an acronym that you probably may even recognize and just probably forgotten what it stands for as well. We're talking about YFC. YFC stands for Youth for Christ. Joining us now is uh, Jay Lawrence. Jay, thanks so much for being in here, man. I appreciate it. No worries, Al. Thank you. Uh, uh, first and foremost, uh, I, we, you and I, you, you showed up about 10 minutes ago, and you and I were having a talk, and uh, I've been trying since then to figure out where your accent is from. Help me out. Where... <laughs> It's uh, yeah, like I say, it's a bit of a sketchy accent. Uh, originally, I grew up in Cape Town, South Africa. Okay. You know, the most beautiful part of the world. Uh, but after I finished my schooling, I actually moved to England. So I was based in the southwest of England. Uh, and you know the British, they all kinds of accents and right. yeah, yeah, things yeah. that come on. So yeah, the accents a bit blended over time. And all now right. I've been in Canada for four years, so I'll probably be saying A yeah. in a while too. <laughs> you managed to mix that in as well. <laughs> uh, and and the re- now now we can just kind of sit back, relax. We know where the accent is from, and now we can listen to uh, to everything about uh, Youth for Christ. Incidentally, did you know there's another London over in England? Did you know? It? Apparently Did you hear about that? so. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw it at the airport. <laughs> Just on the way out. <laughs> I, I want to talk to you about Youth for Christ because um, this is an organization, l- like you said, uh, like so many organizations do. We throw it, throw, throw it together as the acronym YFC. You're probably best known for the YFC. A lot of people have probably seen some of the buildings that you guys are affiliated with, some of the work that you guys are doing, some of the camps. We'll talk about all of those, but maybe first and foremost. Let us know a little bit more about YFC. You're maybe a victim of your own success where nobody kind of asks you that question. Yeah, Youth for Christ, is uh, it's been going in London. It's been going uh, since 1960, which is actually much longer than, than I realized. But it's it's an organization that's in over 100 countries in the world. Uh, you know, I, I heard, I knew about it in South Africa. It's, it's active in England as well. And Youth for Christ is an organization that's uh, focused on bringing hope to young people. Uh, wherever they are, so whether that's in the gym or whether that's in in the classroom, uh, wherever they uh, wherever they are, and uh, for us uh, as Christians, you know, our hope is found in Christ. That's uh, who we are, but that doesn't change that conversation, or that doesn't change the the nature of our friendship or relationship. You know, if a student, you know, after you know playing basketball or whatever it is with me, uh, wants to have that conversation and it's appropriate, that's okay. And if they don't, that doesn't change how we care for them. That doesn't change, you know, how we love them too. And I have, you know, guys in our group of different faiths, and, and that's cool. You that, know, that's, those can be my next question, yeah. is oftentimes we hear the, the minute that uh, Christ or Christian is, is in the name, a lot of times we say, oh, geez, I'm not practicing my faith, or, right. you know, I'm an agnostic, or I'm an atheist, or something along those lines. Uh, that doesn't change that we might be able to be affiliated with you. Definitely, and uh, you know, I since uh, since being in London, uh, I've been here for four years now. You know, I've I've come to know and realize that there there are so many great organizations in the city, and uh, you know, fortunately, we've been lucky enough to partner with some of them, and even with the city of London. And like I said, there's so many great organizations, and as you know, Youth for Christ, we don't ever want to be seen as an exclusive thing. Uh, to, to be fair, we actually want to see as the opposite, you know, to, to be inclusive and to, uh, yeah, to encourage, you know, all young people or whoever it is to, to work with us. Um, but we hope that the way that we work with young people is different. And we, you know, and for myself, even as I coach sport, you know, I don't coach Christian sport. I coach if it's ball, it, it's basketball, right? <laughs> right it's it's right. the game. Yeah. But hopefully the way that I treat my players, the way that I train my players, the, you know, the bar that I set in terms of character and integrity, hopefully that's different and hopefully they can read into that. Are, are you ever worried that uh, uh, maybe passions, because, it, you know, like there's those golden rules, you don't talk about mm-hmm. politics and you don't talk about right, religion, yeah. you, you know, those, those kind of golden rules. Are, are you ever worried in the sport world that sometimes that may, may you know, uh, boil over at, at times? Sometimes... Sport can be something that you don't bring up at the dinner table. That's as well. right. You know, I think there's there's a quote that says that sport helps build character, and I kind of like to flip that and say that sport reveals character. Ah. And and even for myself, like I still try and play, um, even though my my ankles and knees aren't on what they are. <laughs> but you know, in the heat of a game, sometimes you you find yourself you know 
your language might be affected, the way you, you're feeling, because that's what happens. You're in a game and you're, you're playing to win. And I think within sport that, you know, you only have to read the newspapers and seeing going what's going on in the world that sometimes athletes themselves struggle, you know, off the court. You know, there's so much going on. And, and again, that's why I believe in, in using sport as a tool to help build character because at the end of the day, that's, what's, that's what people are going to remember I want to is your to you. character. I, I want to come back and I want to revisit that thought because uh, the idea of sport kind of uh, for what you guys do, uh, trying to build a rapport with the community, uh, uh, being there because uh, you're loved through, through Christ and, and things along those lines, obviously forefront of your mind where it may not be forefront for others. How you kind of bridge those worlds together mm-hmm. without sounding dogmatic, without yeah. sounding preachy. I want to talk to you a little bit about that and the importance of sports in that role, kind of creating that little bit of a buffer zone. We'll continue our conversation. Jay Lawrence joining us. And again, Youth for Christ. You can jump online, read more about them. We'll uh, get into all of the stuff that they are doing now or even plans for the summer. You uh, you can jump online to yfclondon.com and you'll get more information there. We'll get more information next on Ask the Experts. News Talk 1290. There's a change happening in our city. Have you felt it? We're not just talking about new houses and offices because the impact of brick and steel is nothing compared to the people who build them and the ideas that fill them. We're talking about the innovators, the entrepreneurs, the creators, those who see no limit to how high London can rise. If you haven't felt the change, don't worry. You will soon. And this is where you'll hear about it. Today's talk for today's London. We are News Talk 1290 CJBK. This is Ask the Experts, a special advertising feature of News Talk 1290, CJBK. As we continue our conversation with Jay Lawrence, Jay Lawrence is with an organization that does great work here in London that uh, we're just really learning more about. Certainly we've either seen YFC here in London or we've maybe even heard of Youth for Christ. But usually that's kind of the extent of it. We, we don't get to know a whole lot of it. Uh, we, we, we started off the first segment, and, and I thought it was really interesting, Jay, as we were talking about, you know, we perform, we have this platform of sport that we introduce kids to. And people come and we, we have camps and we have uh, different games and, and stuff that people are, are able to join in. And, you know, if they have questions about, about religion, if they have questions about Christ, that's when we, we kind of start, start talking about it make sport a really important role in what it is that you guys do. But it's funny, I don't think that that's an angle that a lot of religious organizations would take, would they? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I would see it as, um, you know, sometimes people would say, you know, what what does sport and God have to do do with each other? And I don't necessarily think that God loves sport, but I know that God loves people, and people love sport. So why not, you know, use sport to communicate truth? Mm-hmm. Um, and even though, you know, since a young age, I've always loved, you know, I'd, I've loved sport. I've I've played different games. I, I'm obsessed with it. You know, I, I'm still, you know, I'm watching the NBA finals. I'm on the edge of my seat, you know, seeing what LeBron's going to do or not going to do. But, you know, I, I've come to realize that over the years, working with young people and again, seeing it in the professional light that sport is not enough that you know you can you know you can get young people involved in programs you can do coaching you can do you know as much as you can with sport but it's still not going to be enough that at the end of the day that that young people uh, and all of us are still looking for you know something to live for and sometimes that you know professional athletes can be good role models and, and sometimes they fall short but just because they're human beings, right? We all, you know, we all do. And so uh, for me, I like to bring the mix of truth into sport because at the end of the day, sport is, it's fantastic. It's great. It's, it's something to do, but it's not enough. And uh, yeah. Well, what is the, uh, the, the usual age group that you're working with okay. at, at YFC? Uh, majority of the guys I work with uh, are high school, although okay. we, we have a program where we work with uh, grade seven and eight. Right as well just as kind of to help with that transition into high school you know longer we've been in longer I've been in Canada I've realized that you know those that year or two going into high school is quite a can be a tricky year sure for some and so if we can establish that relationship before they get to high school that just helps them as they come into high school and and you know being part of a sports team help you helps you adjust you know it helps you make friends it helps you 
feel a part of something right which is huge and, and which is why sport is is what it is you know it, you get to be lo- you but be- you get to belong to something that's right and, th- and that confidence especially going into that high school or or if you're struggling over at your high school just getting Definitely. that swagger from somewhere else For sometimes sure, yeah. very very important but it strikes me as an interesting age group as well where religion is often in the back of people's mind if it's in their mind at all how then do you do you navigate to to make sure that people know you know what it's an okay topic to talk about yeah I think for me is, you know, you know, I coach in a in a local high school too, you know, I'm in the school, uh, you know, after school coaching nearly every day and, and you know, the students see me and I'm sure in the beginning they're like, What's the deal with this guy? You know, he's <laughs> he's youth for Christ, so why you know, why is he here? And is he just gonna be like, you know, talking to us about God all the time? And right. and once they get to know me, they first of all they get to know that I'm normal, you know. Right. Yes. That I'm not like, you know, some you know, someone that they can't get along with. They know that I'm watching, you know, the same NBA and I, you know, I listen to music that's on the radio and I eat the same food. Right. Um, it's just that I... You listen to talk on the radio. <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah I, I, I forgot yeah. to mention that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, as, as soon as they know that I'm just a, a normal guy, you know, but the, you know, the way that I, I live my life, I, you know, I try, you know, try to be different and hopefully that what I communicate to them, even without saying it, that they see truth in that and they see something different and not something that they have to aspire to, but something that they can be a part of as well. That, that's a really powerful thing, you're right? I, I mean, you're kind of encompassing this this role model thing. Is that something that's very common with the staff and the board of directors over at y, uh, YFC? Yeah, I think, you know, the within youth work, you know, I've worked with young people in, in different countries. And I'll, I'll never say they're all the same because, mm-hmm. you know, every every young person is unique. But I would say that everything boils down to relationship. And it's not about you know, doing programs for young people. It's doing it with them. Uh, you know, it's, you know, I think those days are gone where we can just give kids something to do and expect them to just get along with it and to stay with it. But actually when you come alongside them and actually, you know, live life alongside of them, that's that's a different story, mm-hmm. you know, and, and that's something that as, as Youth for Christ that we believe in and, and my colleagues as well who do a great job of trying to embody that and not trying to be, you know, the answer to everything because we can't be, um, but we can, you know, point to where, you know, we can point to truth and for us where, where hope is. It's such a powerful thing. Uh, it really is interesting. Uh, I do want to, uh, uh, as we move forward in the conversation, when we come back, I want to talk to you just about how people do get involved, uh, uh, what what we need to get involved, uh, uh, the finances that are involved. And of course, we got to talk about the summer. Everybody's kind of saying, all right, well, my child is in high school mm. and could use a good role model. Well, what do we what do we talk about? We'll talk about all that as we continue our conversation. Jay Lawrence joining us again. He is with Youth for Christ. You can jump online to yfclondon.com and find out more information about who they are, what they do, and all of these future events. But we'll save you the effort. You don't even have to go to the website. We'll get you the information coming up next on Ask the Experts. News Talk 1290 CJB. All at the same time. Turn us on. Now give me the details. First thing in the morning. News, traffic, and weather, and so much more. First thing with Mike Stubbs and Lisa Brandt. Weekday mornings on News Talk 1290. CJBK. Sounds great, right? Yeah! This is Ask the Expert, a special advertising feature on News Talk 1290. CJBK. 1222 at News Talk 1290. CJBK as we continue our conversation with uh, Jay Lawrence. Jay Lawrence is with Youth for Christ. YFCLondon.com, the website that you're going to want to jump onto and uh, learn more about the organization doing wonderful things here in London. And I, I want to reiterate this because I think a lot of people, the minute we hear Youth for Christ, we think, well, this is a camp for Christians only. And, and we want to reiterate that that's not the case. You have m- different faiths or sometimes people with no faith at all that are going in. Definitely. And that, uh, like I said, it's, uh, you know, whether young people want to have that conversation of faith with us or they don't, that doesn't change the, the nature of the friendship. And that doesn't change, you know, how we care for them and you know we still want them to be a part of everything that we're doing uh you know mentoring is is a kind of a core of of what we try to do especially in the summer and as we have different camps and have different opportunities for some of you know our high school students as well who get a chance to then be you know assistant leaders and junior leaders leading younger children that gives them an opportunity to you know to develop their skills too uh, I, I, I do want to talk just a little bit about uh, what's coming down down the road yep. and, uh, over the summer. I want to talk about that in just half a second. But parents that are listening and saying, I want my high school kid in, in on some of these programs, uh, how do we even start that process? 
Well, uh, the easiest way is uh, on the website, yfclondon.com. You'd get to see uh, some of the, the projects that we do run. Uh, for high school, I mean, I mainly focus in kind of in the sports world. Right. And so through the summer, we run. I run something called the Compass Summer League, which is a summer league of basketball, which is... Uh, this is the second time that we're running it. Last year, we had over 80 guys uh, for a week of basketball. Uh, we did one week in July, one week of August. The details are on the website. That's a high school uh, boys program. We use a Laurier uh, high school gym. Wow. Uh, we run it roughly from about 12 till 3, and it's, you know, three hours of nonstop, you know, basketball. It's, you know, for the guys, the club season's finished. There's no, you know, school season going on. So for a lot of the guys, if they don't have a summer job, I, you know, I believe they need to get distracted doing something good. You I know, you might you. as well you know, have a meaning, a meaningful summer rather than a summer in front of the TV. You know, is, is that so, the thing that you're most excited about this year? Is uh, th- th- this big camp over at uh, Laurier High School? Yeah, the summer league. You know, we've also had this uh, an, another opportunity to take a group of community kids to a camp in Muskoka, which is what you know I, I shared with you earlier, which is a great opportunity. You know, some of the gu- young guys that we have, you know, have never been on a camp. Some have never been as far north as Muskoka. So we're excited with the opportunity to go up to Muskoka Woods and uh, just give them like, you know, an opportunity of of a lifetime, you know, and hopefully they just have an amazing week. I I do want to ask you this question. This is maybe something that I should have started off with. We've announced that you don't have to be Christian to go. But generally speaking, who are the people that are that are uh, coming over to to YFC? Are they uh, do they have a specific quote demographic? Well, we have we're based on uh, on Adelaide two five four Adelaide Street, and so we're we're focused really on the Pond Mills and Glen Can community, and so we have young people that come that you know that might walk there, you know, for our basketball program, Compass Basketball. Most of the guys walk or bike, um, and so they are community. But we also have you know young people from across the city, you know, that come to us. But I, I think for us, as we, as you know, when I started four years ago, our focus was you know how can we try to reach the city if we can't reach the streets around us. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, our heart is very much to be a part of the community um, and be relevant, you know, and something that the community are proud of, that the community see as their own, as opposed to, you know, that's the YFC building, but actually that's our building, you know, that's, that's our community and we can be a part of that. And we don't always have to agree on everything, but that's, that's life. That's okay. But we can still be friends, you know, and we can still agree on, on other things. Uh, very, very powerful to say it that way. Jay Lawrence joining us again. Uh, the website that you want to jump onto is yfclondon.com. That'll get you all the information on their history, what they do, uh, things that are that are coming up as well for uh, for Youth for Christ. Uh, I do want to say that uh, you, you, I know you focus a lot on the sports side of things, but let me just go ahead and ask you, in the situation where maybe somebody is not sports-oriented or just really lousy at sports, like me, <laughs> we we love to try, but we we tend to fall down more than we we stand up. Uh, are, are there other opportunities over at uh, Youth for Christ? Definitely. So you know, I, I have uh, other colleagues, you know, that work in different fields within within the city and within the community. So whether you know interest might be art or music, you know, we've actually just had a, a cafe that's just been built recently, a youth cafe, which is beautiful. Um, so there's opportunities there for young people to get an experience of cooking, you know, and, oh, wow. and learning learning how to cook. Um, so there's all kinds of things, you know. And, and in the center, we have a gym, we have an auditorium, we have a, a skate park that's now just been developed as well. So it's, you know, hopefully that, you know, that young people would find somewhere where they can be a part of. And, and even if they don't have that skill or that talent that they would just want to be a part of, 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 of other people and be a part of a community. You, you said it earlier, and I, and I think it's worth bringing up again, because I think it's just such a powerful thing to say is uh, people need to be bu- busy in a positive manner. Uh, you look at kind of the hangout that you guys have created over at mm-hmm. uh, Youth for Christ. It sounds like not just a cool place that, you know, I want to bring my skateboard, I want to bring my, my BMX bike or something like that, but then on top of that, you're surrounded by good influences. That's a very powerful area to be a part of. Yeah, I agree. I think that's, uh, you know, there's numerous places around the city where you could go and hang out, but the difference is, you know, is, is to have somewhere where you can be, but you can have friendship and relationship too. You know, I, I feel that, you know, young people, you know, Sometimes they'll 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 want to belong to something before they'll believe in something. And so, you know, if we can give them somewhere where just where they feel like they belong, you know, there's there's so many young people who sometimes feel lost and feel like they don't have a place. I mean, they're adults that feel exactly the yeah. same, like yeah. we, where you just don't know your purpose or or what you're supposed to do. And so, we hope that the 
the setting that we have and in the atmosphere of the cafe and, and being around, you know, staff and people that are connected there, that they can see hope and they can see truth in that. Very, very powerful work that you do. Again, we'll send everybody to the website, yfclondon.com. You'll be able to learn uh, everything about uh, the, the work that Youth for Christ is doing right here in London. Jay, you're off the hook. Nice one. All right. Thank you this so is, much, Al. It's been, yeah, it's been a great opportunity. All I'm going to say is it's pretty impressive that YFC London is so big that we actually brought you not just from South Africa but from England <laughs> to get over here. I think that's pretty good. That says, <laughs> says a lot about the building over there. Uh, Jay, thank you so much for all the great information, all the great work that you're doing over at Youth for Christ. Thank you so much, Elia. Thank you for uh, the opportunity and get to share. Again, the website is there, yfclondon.com. We're on Adelaide Street. You know, any your parents, if you're listening, you like to get your kids involved in camp. We also have uh, junior high camps going on in the summer uh, with some trips, and it, it's it's awesome stuff. I said I've got an amazing set of colleagues as well um, who are much better looking than I am. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, be a great chance for you to connect with some good people. We're all good looking on radio. That's the only thing you need to worry about. We're all six foot six with swimmers build, my friend. <laughs> It is 12.30. We'll wrap up Ask the Experts again, yfclondon.com. This has been Ask the Experts on News Talk 1290, CJBK. For more News Talk 1290 podcasts, visit cjbk.com or search CJBK on the iTunes Store and subscribe.